Hey, what's up everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this Dragon's Dogma 2 video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all some things that you could easily miss that you can get. And literally pretty much the very beginning of the game. Right after you finish the tutorial, you end up at this area here, the Border Watch Outpost. And there's quite a bit of chest around in this vicinity that you could easily miss. Also, an extremely valuable token too, as well. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you all where all these chests are located at around this area, as well as the token. For you to get a lot of goodies so yeah let's get into this the first one will be located right over here at the archery range you can find a chest right back here as you can see so let's go ahead and open up this one and voila there is something in here we got that now the next one let's go ahead and backtrack this way and we're gonna head on over to that watchtower up there. Over here will be a chest underneath it. As you can see, right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's open up this guy too. Yeah. All right, so we got that. Now, let's go ahead and head this way. We're gonna head out heading this way it's going over here I don't want to talk to you right now buddy come on I'm trying to do a guide I refuse right now okay but yeah head on out this way and then you're gonna take a left over here there will be some enemies so be warned I'm just gonna skip right past them and face plant on the ground and die dead on it that wasn't supposed to happen Rather thrilling. Okay. I spawned right back here. You know what? I'm just going to take my time. Oh my gosh. I'm going to take my time a little bit here. And just kill these enemies. Woohoo. Yep. He's dead. Okay. Now, instead of belly flopping onto the ground, I'm going to make my way down slowly and head this way. And right up here, we can find another chest. Voila. Oh. Oh, no. My stamina. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Some more goodies. 540 gold. You could have missed. Okay. Now, from here, we just want to head this way. We're going to be doing a little bit of climbing. Some hardcore parkour. Just kidding. It's not really that hardcore. Yeah, just head this way. Oh, no. My stamina has depleted. Come on, bro. Yeah, and just head around. You can find some goodies in here, too. You want to get that. But we're just going to head up here. Head around. And then we are going to want to try to get up the top of this. Can be a little tricky, but not too tricky. Come on now. We're bosses. There we go. Bam! And up here, we can find this. And this. Yeah, some more goodies that you could have easily missed. All right, now, anyways, from here, there's going to be another chest that we can get to. So just make your way down. Without taking yourself out. And we're going to head this way. And we're just going to follow this path for a little bit here. Make your way up this cliff. There are going to be some enemies to take on. But nothing too difficult.
Dang, he just threw a rock at him. Ha, <laughs> he threw a rock back at him. That's hilarious. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and loot these guys. Anyways, as you can see, here is the next chest. Right where we fought them at. Let's go ahead and open this up. Now, lastly, we want to head this way. And there's some more goodies you can get to help you start off. We're just going to want to head this way. And over here, there's going to be a hidden path that we can take. There will be some enemies, as you saw there, that I just passed. And jump this little thing there. Climb up here. Oh no! A bird! It's a harpy. Oh, that ended badly. Hang on, let me get back there. At that area is the most valuable thing out of all of these really that you that you can collect I'll show you here in a second okay anyways once you're over here as you can see you can find this chest right here and and this token right here oh yeah as you can see here's what they do they're called seekers tokens there are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out-of-the-way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall, and you will receive special rewards now and then as your collection progresses. You must leave no stone unturned, nor corner of the world unexplored if you would complete your collection. Alright, so yeah. This is how you can get some really valuable stuff by turning in these tokens to, once again your guild hall an unlikely location for a path <gasps> mayhap it leads to a hidden hoard of treasure sometimes the your pawns will even say an unlikely location for a path that may lead to some hidden treasure and stuff like that that's how you know you may be on the route to those tokens but yeah there you have it everyone hope we all found this video enjoyable and it helps you get a little kickstart in dragon's dogma too once again, this is literally some goodies that you can discover in pretty much the very beginning of the game, right after you get through the tutorial. I'm out of here, though, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.